Cauchy's integral formula, second version. Statement, let G be an open subset of the plane and f from G to C an analytic function. If gamma 1, gamma 2, etc. gamma m are closed rectifiable curves in G such that n of gamma 1 w plus n of gamma 2 w plus etc. n of gamma m w equal to 0 for all w in the complement of G. Then for any a in g minus trace of gamma, f of a into sigma k equal to 1 to m, n of gamma k a equal to sigma k equal to 1 to m, 1 by 2 pi i, integral over gamma k, f of z by z minus a dz. This is the second version of Cauchy's integral formula. We have the first version, this same statement, uh, but there is a different. In the first version, we consider a closed rectifi rectifiable curve gamma. Here we consider m closed rectifiable curves gamma 1, gamma 2, etc. gamma m. And similarly, in the first version, there is condition n of gamma w equal to 0 for all w in the complement of G. And here, n of gamma 1, w, the sum of all the ind ind indices with, with respect to gamma 1, gamma 2, etc. gamma 1, gamma m of w equal to 0 for all w in the complement of G. And also, the in the final equation, there is a difference. That is, in the first version, we have the equation, f o, there is no sigma, f of a into n of gamma a equal to uh, 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of z d z divided by z minus a. Here we have sigma on both sides, sigma k equal to 1 to m. Actually, it is a generalization of a first version. That is Cauchy's integral formula of second version is a generalization of the first version. So, the proof is, uh, proof uh, is on the same way as in the first version. That is, we take, first we take a function phi from g cross g to c defined by phi of z w equal to we have two definitions f of z minus f of w divided by z minus w when z not equal to w and it is f dash of z when z equal to w as in the same case of the first version then we can say that phi is continuous and also phi is an phi of z w or phi is analytic and the same reason as in the first version, proof of the first version. And next next we define a set H. In the first version, we have H equal to set of all W such that N of gamma W equal to 0. Here, we define H as set of all W such that the sum N of gamma 1 W plus N of gamma 2 W etc. plus N of gamma M W equal to 0. Then, we can say that h union g equal to c and we define a function g from c to c defined by g of z equal to g of z equal to integral over gamma irnu first version irthadu sum sigma k equal to 1 2 m gamma k phi of z w dw idana and proof in Tamil Vetiasum, gamma edukan or toke. First version le proof le gamma ulur toke. Sigma a sum gamma one plus gamma two plus etc. plus gamma m ubiosha either sigma k equal to one two m gamma k ubiosha replace here. Atramatra e proof le difference ulu. Akila e integral over gamma a complex integral over a curve in the properties ubiositana. Akila step in general. So we have g of z equal to sigma integral over sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k phi of z w dw if z belongs to g and if z belongs to h we have the equation g of z equal to integral over sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k f of w dw dr by w minus z. Next we have to show that this function g is well defined for this uh, we have the definition for z belongs to g and also for z belongs to h. Next we have to show that for z belongs to 
the intersection of these two set that is said belongs to G intersection H. We have to show that uh, then the function small g satisfied both the property uh, in G and in H. That is these two definitions. These two definitions are equal for the intersection points G intersection H. Now we take sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k phi of z w d w equal to first version the case le, ide method nammal cheyunu cheyidirunu adu pole thaneyanu proof inde step gal sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k phi of z w inde definition substitute kiya f of z minus f of w divided by z minus w d w then idonu reverse cheyidu that is equal to sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k f of w minus f of z divided by w minus z dw then by splitting we get a sigma k equal to 1 to sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k f of w dw divided by w minus z minus f of z is a constant with respect to w so sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k dw divided by w minus z and d sigma over a curve dw by w minus z means it is n of this n of sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k with respect to the point z and this is zero uh, that is we have the condition in the statement that is n of in this statement we have the condition the sum n of gamma 1 w plus n of etc plus n of gamma 1 w equal to 0 so also we have the definition of h the uh, set of uh, w is a point such that uh, the sum is 0 we have here we take z belongs to g intersection h so z satisfies the property of g and also property of h Therefore, this index number is 0. So, this term becomes 0. We get a sigma, left side is sigma k equal to 1 to n gamma k phi of z w dw equal to sigma k equal to uh, indel over sigma k equal to 1 to n gamma k f of w dw by w minus z. That is the two definition of g are same for every z belongs to h intersection g. So the function g is well defined and also we apply the lemma, uh, first lemma in this section 5 that is if we can define uh, such an integral of the form integral over of the form capital F form integral over phi of w uh, dw divided by some w minus z whole raised to m then we get such a function fmr analytic here we can say that by using this lemma uh, we can say that g is uh, such a form that is in the form in the uh, place of phi we have f and w minus z all raised to m means here m equal to m equal to 1 so we can say that g is analytic g is analytic also and uh, on the trace of gamma here we have not only gamma it is gamma k gamma 1 gamma 2 etc gamma k on each gamma k uh, the function f is a uh, f analytic function anna. so for each gamma k f is bounded also because uh, gamma k is one point f defined anna. analytic I don't know maximum value and we can but f bounded on a gamma k bounded on so what in the sigma k equal to 1 to n gamma k bounded item and also we have limit z tends to infinity 1 by w minus z equal to 0 then we find the limit of g of z that is we have to show that g of z is we already show that g is analytic on c and now we have to show that g is bounded on c so we can apply the Leo Villes theorem here g of z means sigma k equal to 1 to m gamma k f of w dw divided by w minus z and uh, 
we have f of w is bounded on this sum so f of w can be considered as a constant so limit set tends to infinity 1 by w minus z we have this is 0 so this in uh, is 0 this limit is 0 limit z tends to infinity g of z equal to 0 that means as z tends to infinity g of z tends to 0 that is as z tends to a larger value the function tends to 0 so we can find in our a positive number r real number r such that modulus of g of z less than or equal to 1 for mod z greater than or equal to r for every r greater than 0 for some angle for every r greater than 0 that is g is bounded we already get that g is analytic so g is a bounded analytic function on c that is g is a bounded entire function so by leo willis theorem g is a constant and also we have the limit to limit set tends to infinity g of z equal to zero so also g is a constant from these two we can say that g of z is identically equal to zero g of z equal to zero for every set so we take a point a belongs to g for this point we have to show uh, a, a point a belongs to not g a belongs to g minus number gamma in the first version at the end what a gamma la some mana gamma one plus gamma two plus etc gamma m that is g minus a belongs to g minus sigma k equal to one two m gamma k such a point a is taken then g of z equal to g of z equal to we have sigma k equal to 1 2 m gamma k phi of z w i no w in bar we replace w by a any point a belongs to g minus gamma 1 plus gamma 2 plus etc gamma m now we have the definition of phi of z here we have g of z equal to 0 and equal equal 0 the, that is 0 equal to sigma uh, integral over sigma k equal to 1 2 m gamma k phi of z phi of z and a definition f of z minus f of a divided by z minus a dz by splitting we get integral over sigma k equal to 1 2 m gamma k f of z dz divided by z minus a equal to f of a is a constant sigma k equal to 1 2 m gamma k dz by z minus a so we have the result integral over gamma 1 plus gamma 2 a function f equal to integral over gamma 1 f plus integral over gamma 2 f so this is true for any number gamma 1 plus gamma 2 plus etc plus gamma m this is true so we can apply this result here that is integral over sigma k equal to 1 to n gamma k a function equal to sigma k equal to 1 to n integral over gamma k f of z dz divided by z minus a here f of a into this is the definition of by the definition of index number we can we can write 2 pi i into uh, here same uh, sigma k equal to 1 to m n of gamma k a so we get sigma k equal to 1 to m integral over gamma k f of z dz divided by z minus a equal to f of a into sigma k equal to 1 2 m 2 pi i into n of 2 pi i into n of gamma k a 2 pi i go to multiply that sigma k equal to 1 2 m 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma k f of z dz divided by z minus a equal to f of a into sigma k equal to 1 2 m n of gamma k a n of 2 so that is the 
second version of a Cauchy Sindel formula. Now we have another important theorem Cauchy's theorem. We already discussed Cauchy Sindel formula first version and second version. Now we have Cauchy's theorem first version. Let G be an open subset of the plane and f from G to C an analytic function. If gamma 1, gamma 2, etc., gamma m are closed rectifiable curves in G such that n of gamma 1 w plus etc., n of gamma m w equal to 0 for all w in C minus G, then sigma k equal to 1 to m integral over gamma k f equal to 0. That is f or analytic function. That is f or gamma k is closed and rectifiable. Index numbers in the sum with respect to each curve gamma i 0 on for all point w. Angan yon angil integration the sum integral over gamma 1 plus integral over gamma 2 plus etc. Integral over gamma i m f in the var another f in a oro curve will integrate here with respect to oro gamma 1 gamma 2 etc. Integrate here that other in the sum um. 0 ஆயிருக்கும் என்னானு பிருவு என்னது சோ இது பிருவு என்ன நம்மலு யூச் சேனது கோஷிஸ் இந்தில் போமுலா second version ஆனம் ஆ statementில் எல்லா conditions விட satisfy சேனது சோ by the கோஷிஸ் இந்தில் போமுல of second version we get the result f of a into sigma k equal to 1 to m 1 to m n of gamma k a equal to sigma k equal to 1 to m 1 by 2 pi i into integral over gamma k f of z dz by z minus a here f is an analytic function this is true for every analytic function f so we take here f is in the form f of z equal to some uh, f of z this uh, analytic function f of z can be replaced by another analytic function also it is true that is f of z is replaced by f of z into z minus a here f of z is already analytic by the statement of the Cauchy's theorem statement of the theorem and z minus a is a polynomial again an analytic function so the product of two analytic function is again analytic so f of z into z minus a is analytic so this is this result is applicable for this function f of z into z minus a also so each for each f we, we replace each f by f of z into z minus a we get the equation as f of a means f of f of z in a f of z into z minus a going to replace a dale f of a na namukka f of a into a minus a na edam that is zero on so the left side become zero that is 0 into sigma k equal to 1 to m n of gamma k a equal to sigma k equal to 1 to m 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma k next f of z in varam f of z into z minus a dz divided by z minus a the z minus a uh, are cancelled we get the left side is 0 right side sigma k equal to 1 to m 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma k f of z dz z minus a are cancelled so 1 by 2 pi i not equal to 0 so we get sigma k equal to 1 to m integral over gamma k f of z dz equal to 0 so we can say that integral over sigma integral over gamma k f equal to 0 for any analytic function f satisfying the condition of gamma 1 w plus n of gamma 2 w plus etc plus n of gamma gamma m w equal to 0. This is Cauchy's theorem for first version. Thank you.